Welcome to Literary Insights. This is the summary of the book Power, Why Some People Have It and Others Don't Jeffrey Pfeffer. If you like this content, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Having abundant energy allows you to work long hours and intensely focus on goals, which helps build expertise and mastery faster. Influential people have the drive and stamina to put in the laborious preparation needed to succeed. Maintaining high activity levels also signals importance and ambition. People associate being busy with status. Executives boast about their 100-hour work weeks. However, working long hours has diminishing returns. Beyond 50 to 60 hours per week, productivity and creativity decline. Rest and renewal become more critical. Workaholism driven by insecurity rather than purpose leads to burnout and poor decisions. Prioritize high-quality focused efforts over just putting in face time. Renewal activities like exercise, meditation, spending time in nature, and reflection allow you to refill your mental and physical energy reserves. Protect time for these. Delegate less critical tasks to talented team members. Conserve your energy for high-impact efforts. Say no to activities that don't align with priorities. Sleep well, take vacations, and minimize non-essential meetings and obligations. Value your time and protect your energy. This allows sustainable achievement. The key is having abundant energy to pursue goals intensely and knowing when to renew yourself and conserve energy by delegating or saying no, balance focused effort with regeneration. Controlling money and jobs gives power in organizations. Departments and people that allocate more resources have more influence. Power becomes self-reinforcing once resources are obtained. Those with money and jobs get appointed to influential boards, hire talented staff, and gain access to information. Implications, seek roles controlling budgets and staff. Volunteer for unpopular but critical tasks to become indispensable. Form strategic alliances with resource holders. Offer your expertise in exchange for money, staff, and information access. Getting involved with initiatives central to the organization's bottom line and strategy increases influence. Even without direct control of resources, solving pressing problems can provide leverage. The more resources you can accumulate and control, the more power you will have. Convert expertise and problem-solving ability into influence over money and staff. Expressing anger can make you appear more powerful and competent while expressing sadness or remorse makes you appear weaker, according to research by Larissa Tidens. This effect held even when controlling for other factors. In studies with actors, politicians portrayed as angry were seen as better leaders than those portrayed as sad. Employees who expressed anger more were seen as better leaders and role models than those who expressed sadness. The power of anger may differ by gender. Angry women are sometimes seen as gaining less status than angry men. But research is mixed on whether gender moderates the impact of anger. Power and status can also be conveyed through nonverbal cues like posture, gestures, clothing, and physical settings. Standing tall, facing people, and well-dressed appearances signal confidence. Skilled actors can learn to display emotions like anger by consciously modifying nonverbal cues. With practice, physical actions can trigger emotions. In summary, anger confers more status and power than sadness or remorse. Along with nonverbal signals, emotional displays like anger can be cultivated to project competence and authority. Holding positions of power comes with increased public visibility and scrutiny, which can impede one's ability to perform well. The social facilitation effect shows that the presence of others can improve motivation but decrease performance on complex tasks requiring new learning. Public visibility pressures leaders to spend time on impression management, distracting from core responsibilities. Scrutiny can encourage risk avoidance and stifle innovation, even if detrimental long-term. Powerful people lose autonomy over time as demands from others overwhelm them. Pursuing and maintaining power requires trade-offs, often impacting personal relationships and family life. This toll seems especially severe for women. In summary, the costs of public visibility and scrutiny associated with power can be significant, creating distractions, performance pressures, time demands, and work-life imbalance. Leaders should weigh these downsides when considering positions of authority. Here is a summary of the key points from the passage. Pick an environment that fits your interests and aptitudes. 
Be honest in assessing your preferences and the political dynamics. Don't give away power through your behavior. Act strategically, try to build yourself up, and claim your power. Take care of yourself. Don't expect justice or others to defend your power. Build alliances and connect with mentors and sponsors. Master organizational knowledge to understand decision processes, politics, and culture. Observe and analyze. Develop a reputation for competence, character, and being a team player. Deliver results, be ethical, and contribute. Obtain visibility through assignments, introductions, and self-promotion. Ensure the right people know your accomplishments. Be patient and persistent. Gaining power takes time. The key points are to assess fit realistically, avoid giving away power, build relationships and knowledge, develop a strong reputation, gain visibility, and persist in striving for power over time. The book advises gaining power and influence in organizations and the workplace. Some key ideas include Performance and competence alone are often insufficient for career advancement and obtaining power. Factors like relationships, political skills, and reputation matter greatly. Managing upwards effectively pleasing your boss and aligning with their agenda is crucial for gaining influence. Networking across your workplace and industry provides access to information, resources, and sponsorship that enhance your power. Build a solid power base by doing favors, knowing people's needs, controlling critical resources or tasks, and making yourself visible and appreciated. Influence comes from controlling access to information and shaping how others perceive you. Craft your reputation carefully. Watch for destabilizing events that shift power balances. Move strategically during organizational changes to gain influence. The trappings of power eventually corrupt many leaders. Maintain self-awareness and build safeguards to avoid abusing your influence. The book argues that power dynamics permeate organizations, so individuals must deliberately cultivate influence through networking, strategic positioning, upward management, resource control, and reputation management if they wish to advance. Organizational politics and power dynamics are inevitable in groups and hierarchies. Powerful people pursue their interests and can influence culture, values, and ideologies in self-serving ways. This can entrench their power and discourage challenges to the status quo. However, power differences can be reduced by increasing transparency, sharing information, and control more broadly. It takes awareness and effort, but organizations can be somewhat democratized. The article advocates critically examining power dynamics in organizations as the power that goes unchecked can reinforce itself.